What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode, Bardazar Matarazzi is being sallied upon by the force of Huron from Fort Sault Marie. And this will be... Uh, well, this won't be the end of the faction because they likely have a few more turns left to hold on. But uh, it's a good step towards um, knocking out the Native American factions and opening up a new flank against the Mughal Empire. But let's crack on and withstand the assault. So I have been um, away for a week, so uh, <laughs> you, you, this video is coming out today. I'm actually recording it 7 a.m. today after driving for three hours or so. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> apologies if I um, have forgotten some of my earlier strategic plans. I do love my super bugged batteries of artillery. <laughs> Six artillery pieces. Okay, so what I hmm, so I want to advance up to this hill, I think. So let's take four units of infantry to push up there. Let's take three units to cover the flank of this artillery piece. Let's move another three units. They're going to push up the left flank. We've also got a large amount of cavalry which is going to be extremely useful and obviously our almighty howitzers so they are going to sit back and open fire I'll just carefully turn the volume down in my headphones there we go so let's take Actually, I think everyone's okay. General in the center. So you guys trundle up to somewhere a bit more advantageous. You guys advance up to cover the ground ahead of the guns. So, okay, let's go move these guys up as well. Because they're going to move up into the woods. So lots of them are exposed, so I want to take my Regiment of Horse and Cuirassier, move them out. I want to get my Hussars running fast up the centre. So my Gunners are on the move, they've got good uh, good training horse, good, uh, good uh, horse teams, so they should make some good progress. Let's get my Cavalry out wide here. And then as far as my howitzers are concerned, you hit the Native American warriors, you also hit the Native American warriors, my fuel artillery here. You fired, so there's no merging critical need to make you hit anyone. Actually, howitzer, you guys, because they've showed themselves, hit the medicine men. <laughs> Tribesmen, Native American warriors... Move my hussars to clear the woods ahead of my infantry here. Because if it's safe, I want to push them up. But that's why I want to keep my cavalry support here quite aggressive. And they got hit quite dramatically by our quick climb. It looks like they are going to be. Okay, the general's bodyguard's coming in, so let's get our heavy cavalry into a bit of a run. You fellas and limber, let's actually get our heavy cavalry here and get them to advance at speed. Cuirassiers, let's commit them into the fight. My hussars and my regiment of horse. You guys fire it well off. You guys hit. Oh, there's mounted tribal gunners. Let's pivot you guys. You hit the armed tribesmen. Let's keep that cover on the move there. You guys hit Native American warriors. You guys hit. Actually, no. You guys hit Chief's bodyguard. You guys hit Native American warriors. Howitzers hit the bowmen. Yeah, let's get this infantry involved as well. So you guys are going to chase down those native warriors. 
Cuirassier, hit the tribal gunners. Regiment of horse, hit the armed tribesmen. Okay, you've been caught out. And the armed tribesmen are now after you. Our infantry teams move up. Fire at will on. Cavalry, get out of dodge. These cuirassier might actually hit the flank of this tribe unit. There we go. Good. You did catch up with the chief's bodyguard. You're going to hit the native warriors. They're falling back in disarray. Howitzers switch to round shot. Engage targets to the rear. This cuirassier unit pull back. Allow the infantry to do some glorious work with their muskets. No, don't get drawn away by the general. Okay, you go after that native warrior unit. You guys go after the mounted tribal gunners there. You guys come back to the center. The general's about to fall. It has fallen. Well, will fall. Charge the bowmen. Let's get all my artillery to cease fire. Mr. Balthazar, let's get him into the fight. Don't chase after the tribal gunners, go after the bowmen. There we go, the uh, enemy have collapsed. There is damn it, the regiment of horse chased down the bowmen because they are still target. You guys just smash straight into that bow unit. You guys chase down. So go for your warrior society first. Your RCR will do a real number on this warrior society. There we go. You guys cease fire. It doesn't really matter which bowmen you guys go for. You guys fire it well off. Those bowmen aren't going to last. No one up near you, it's a shame. But we can only kill so many men at once. Damn right we're gonna continue. Let's get you over here. There we go. So let's speed up time a little bit, and this is one of the reasons why it's great to have a good amount of cavalry in your force. It does make it a bit trickier to control because you can only ever really give proper instructions to a handful of units at once. There we go. So you go after them. You guys should knock out the Warrior Society in short order. There's one last guy, then you can go after that Warrior Society. Sweet. So we've got two units here. Keep on giving them new orders. Because they do always seem to stagnate. Yours tricky because you your guys are spread out. Okay, let's get all of you guys to work on. So you go over. No. All come over here. Because they've fled. And let's speed up time properly now because the end is nigh there we go now with lots of cavalry on there on their side the pathfinding should improve dramatically and you can see it has done a great deal and it also means this cavalry unit is going to run this way and not smash through this line to go to hit these guys or the guys that were here yes see they've all stopped Ah, no. One guy. But damn right. That was that was pretty awesome. That was really, really good. Yeah, so we lost... <laughs> we lost 82 men, and they definitely lost 3,000. So I think that's going to be the end of the Huron there with that, engage with that engagement. I'm not quite sure what Mexico is up to, but if they're willing to 
put the squeeze on to the Mughal Empire, then I'm all for it. Because I'm striking Malta, not anymore. Okay, good. So let's take these three seconds. They can move you over to the Americas. Let's check our building. Okay, let's keep. You're pretty good. Keep upgrading our religious buildings. Obviously, we've got this entire front to deal with, although they have sort of collapsed. The British have there. Let's keep our industry rolling on. I wonder if they've lost all their commands. No, sometimes when you load up the game, they can lose, armies can lose pre-issued orders, so it's worth checking. Fortunately, it seems to be either they all do it or none of them do it. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Literary demands from Persia. Yeah, understandable. Ish. I'm still not going to let you go. I'm going to build a church school up here. So now the game is... Well, first of all, you need a new general. Stefano D'Amico. You need to hightail it down to this road. You're going to back them up. As are you. I don't... I don't want to send all of them this way. I want to send some of them down to Basra to do this to go this, the sneaky way around. But I also want some armies to maintain the front line. So right now I've got three going to the south and three going to the north. I've obviously got all of these guys around here. But I think Britain, Ardabil may be exposed. So if I take Mr. Venturi... Although you're quite artillery light, but that's good. It means you've got more infantry, but then again, you do have lots of skirmishes. Agostino Cardano might be the boy to try this out. So let's take Pietro, move him into reserve, along with Arnaldo. Niccolo, you need... Uh, you're waiting. You want a heavy cavalry unit, don't you? Same with you, really. Arnaldo. Lots of these units. I mean, we could try and do something against the against the Brits here, but it wouldn't be much point. Because we can just attack Ardabil. Secure Ardabil. And that not cleans out all of these British troops. And it allows all of these troops just to swarm the Mughal front line. So you want to take Ceylon, and I want to take... Arcot, and I want to take Calcutta because we've got. I don't know, Mysore, we are at war with again. So, Mysore, well, wherever I land, they're going to get hit in force. So, that's why I like Calcutta because it means we can at least. You can block off here, and we can also hold both sides of the river here. Could even hold the bridge, but the bridge. The trouble with this bridge is they can just circumvent it through the hills. So, workers on strike in Persia. Fair enough. Let's exempt them from tax. Workers right in Georgia. So Georgia might... Um, Georgia might rebel. Well, they will, they will rebel next turn. Workers on a strike in Curacao. Siamo but that's where I get Carlo and just drop them in. Obviously get the militia. Oh. Okay, get the militia to the port. Get Carlo to sit inside, and they are no longer rioting. So we've got Vito Spero, you're in good shape, so I might send you here, or over here, because the, we know the Mughals did immediately respond to that challenge. So let's take... Well, let's dump the militia into Mr. Costa's army. Let's move out... Both are... Actually, I only want one of my fifth rates, really. Because Vito Spero... My very, very experienced general... Can sail... And... Well, so they're coming towards the city. 
So if I get them into port, well, I might have to deploy them. Well, this port's getting raided. There's no doubt about that. If I disembark Vito, he can. He's he's got an exit from their zone of control, but he can go here to cover the west, the the, the, um, the east. So New Orleans, you guys start to recruit American infantry mercenaries. You guys are replenishing. We're going to take this sloop and take Donato Costa over to Cuba. And what we're going to do... Take all your armies sans buccaneers you guys go here let's get rid of the colonial militia then you guys just recruit reinforcements from cuba it's gonna take some time but we've got nassau is bottled up they can't really do anything they can't transit the islands unless they blockade well they can't move these troops across to kick us out of their port because we have zone of control through this gap, I think. Oh, there we go. We have zone of control over this straight here. So they can't kick us out unless they blockade our ships. Obviously, you're spying on the front line. Afghanistan's ready to be taken. But when we take it, I want to push and secure this crossing, this bridge, and this crossing. Once we hold this river, that's a really good front line. Ready so we can launch our attack in, in Calcutta and in our cot. Well, but you guys, it might be Calcutta and Katak. Because then at least we've got a, a, a channel here. There's a bridge to the south here, which is really good. Hmm. I think that would be quite a good idea. So, oh, here on territory was captured. So let's destroy the, the lodge. Replenish all of Balthazar's troops. Let's do some upgrading. Up here at Rupert's Land, we've got militia. But these militia need to move down to here, ready to be sent. Because this army might need to fairly quickly be sent to head off the uh, Marathas there. So you're upgrade. Not the Mar Marathas, the Mughals. Yeah, so you're still spying there. Okay, let's take. Signore. This for eh, lots of native troops and North African troops. Aha, so that's more like it. Yeah. Let's take Pietro. Go hit Ardabil. And that draws in all these British armies. But as we've done before, if you attack the city correctly, you only have to worry about this garrison. And then when the reinforcements start to come in, they've been defeated. So let's attack the city of Ardabil. Finally destroy the uh, British faction. Then we can start to understand the amount of troops we want on our main front line in the uh, on the Indian border, because then we can start to look at what we can send um, to sail along the Gulf and land, uh, land and to capture key territories off their coast. But first of all, we must crack open this fortress and destroy the British, which I think we have an excellent chance of doing. Got to need, just need to be careful, not annihilate too many units, so that they uh, they start to bring in reinforcements early. And then make sure once we've taken the city, we've got enough troops and the walls are secured that we can turn the guns against any reinforcing troops which may arrive. Interestingly, once you've taken the walls, you know they all they can do is try and you know they have to kind of counter siege or counter assault you. So we're going to do a lot of softening up here. Bit of a weird graphics thing there. So because you've only got a two batteries breaching, that's going to take some time. But it does mean that our howitzers can take can make some good progress breaching. So it's only, well, not breaching, clearing out the enemy. So let's take three infantry, three line units, and two sharpshooters to hold the hold the uh, the main breach. And I want to send you guys over on the right flank. My cavalry are going to hunker back here. There's always a risk that 
when you get lots of reinforcements coming in for the enemy that they the reinforcements will destroy your get one of them start dropping quick climb on the center see they're firing back at me they're gonna destroy their own command HQ um, but what I'd like well yeah so when you when they counter attack they might we might have reinforcements coming in right behind us so we may lose our artillery but that's a small price to pay for the gains that we will get from annihilating the British from this uh, from this campaign that's a colonial line a good chunk of militia so this is a bit of a concern so I might get two guns to sit here two howitzers to work on clearing out some of these artillerymen and have one howitzer work on clearing out the clearing out the infantry because their artillery could potentially do some there we go so some shots are away so we're starting to clear out gun crews but the Obviously, we need to be careful because we don't want to start bringing in reinforcements too quickly. There's eight generals' bodyguard. But you can see we are actually losing some of our artillery crews. Although, that's an exceptional pile of dead Britons. Well, I'm hoping we can... So the 5th Regiment has been reduced to one gun. Which, look, actually will do... Actually is, has a good bead on my units and killed some men and, uh, from the 86th without having the visibility. But let's see. That's the 38th and the 62nd sat on top of each other. That's a bad idea. But as is tradition, I will fire some quick climb at them and then I'll pick new targets and then I'll have to look at these guys. I don't want reinforcements, I just really don't want them to come in. So it will likely mean we have to force the assault with less than, like, less than ideal parameters. But it, we don't really have a choice. We need to force them to commit to battle. And we need to make our way in. Really. Like, lots of these militia units aren't a problem. And once we make a breach, they're going to really start to cover this section with infantry. And using your howitzers against the men on the walls, they are less effective per shot, but they are still doing good damage. I mean, if I hit them, I might actually cause the 60 second to rout. So one more volley and the breach will be ours. And then we begin the... Well, not, not ours. There we go. The assault. The assault will begin. So, we can, we are going to assault this section of the wall, this section of the wall, and I want to send one unit to just capture this gate, run around, capture this gate. The light cavalry might attempt to interfere. But I'm hoping that we can do some real good damage to them, and they decide they don't want to actually do that much interfering. So you guys might it's the 9th Regiment of Militia. Because when we get to the, the walls, the attack is, for all intents and purposes, going to begin. Because we're going to start lashing the breach with musket shot. In which case, then I might preemptively start working on clearing out some of these cavalry with my howitzers.
Because the time is soon... Well, soon we're going to be in a position where... Yeah, there we go. So we're going to be... The breach is going to be... Is being fought for. So let's get some sharpshooters up on the wall here. They're a bit at risk. That's why I might give them another infantry unit. Again, just to get them on the wall. Actually, no, you are going to cover the men... Cover the men that are going to push into the breach. And we are going to get a, t a taste of where their reinforcements are going to come in from. British infantry isn't... They're not bad infantry, so this isn't... They will swarm our single unit. But over here, where we've got so many men covering, I might actually bring my cavalry over onto this flank, because we're going to capture this gatehouse. And we're going to have our way in. You guys are going to be waiting. You're go you guys are going to stay ready. My hope is I can get my sharpshooters and infantry on the wall. Then we can start to take key positions. I mean, I could quick climb that. That's a but it's possible. So let's get two units to fight the colonial militia. Let's get some of these units to work on getting off the wall. Starting to chug. Let's pull you out. And then attack ground right here with my howitzers. It depends what stage of loading they're at. Risky strategy. Yeah, you guys go off the wall. It's always this this sort of action here that causes the problems. I don't know where the militias come from. We've taken some of the walls. My out you guys attack ground outside the breach. So we've taken this section of the wall. So now you guys can't push out and do a lot of annoying stuff for us. You guys get off the wall. Quick climb in the breach. Too bad it's chugging, but that is a excellent shot. Push forward, men. That's cleared them out. Get in. Seven, one, one, one. We're going to see reinforcements entering the field. General's bodyguard right there, so you guys start climbing. You men run in, get the cavalry in. Get the line infantry guards over here as well. You guys go secure that gatehouse. You guys go position yourselves here. run in. Don't worry about fighting. Just get in there. You're going to get charged by a general if you don't hurry up. Yeah, you guys get back. The infantry fight here. Let's get men up here to fight here. You guys run. You guys run. I mean, you guys can fight if you want. It seems to be... seems like you want to do something. We did have a... Well, you're running the wrong way, so I'm just going to give you a run order. To get inside. You guys drop into square. Let's get a line guards to run down here. Let's get the heavy cavalry over to intercept these general's bodyguards. Get my lancer guards in here. Let's 
Okay, get out of square. Charge that horse artillery guy. Then when you're in, you guys deploy square because you want to get cut to bits by colonial cavalry. So you're in a good position to engage the general's bodyguard. We've got the center. Let's get actually you guys to stand here. You guys attack the 52nd Regiment. You men deploy square. You men hold ground inside the city. Yeah, Heavy cavalry can deal with the General's bodyguard. Yeah, I knew they get they yeah, and I, and I knew they were gonna smack their cavalry straight into my infantry on the wall over there. You guys get over here. But that general's bodyguard is gonna fall. I'm not sure who they're targeting. Ooh, oh that was I was concerned there for a minute. Ooh, every time it stutters like that. You guys attack the 52nd. You guys just stand here and hold. You guys attack the 5th Light Horse. That infantry unit's doomed. Yeah, so they've got some artillery and they're starting to do some counter-battery work, but I don't think it's going to help them. Yeah, you guys take position up there. You guys... No, I want you to get up there rather than fight the general's bodyguard. Yeah, you guys get inside. Uh, make sure you guys stay where you are. Ah, oh, too bad we've actually lost a... a gatehouse there. Yeah, they're going to run in and immediately cancel the... Cancel the tick. Yeah, there we go. Two squares, though. That'll sort them out. You're winning against the 52nd. You guys just keep quick climbing the breach. Yeah, the tick has started again. General's bodyguard is going down. That's where you guys... Uh, Balthazari get in a blocking position. You guys are waiting see the outcome of this fight. We're all going to block. General's bodyguard's doing a grand job at holding them off. All right, If you guys want to fight the General's bodyguard down here so much. You guys all fight the second light horse. There we go. So this... Okay, no, you, can, you guys can get off square. And you guys... Now you can carry on fighting. So you guys fight the fifth. I don't foresee how they can really do too much damage. Because we hold some pretty key positions around the fort. So even if we lose some of the units, like the, this horse... Um, this heavy horse... Hopefully we can make the General's Bodyguard route. So I can make my... You guys run. So I want to try and make this... Okay, good. You guys climb back up. Not that it matters, because it's not. we've not got many seconds to go. So even though they're sending some cavalry in on a bit of a suicide run... Yeah, the heavy cavalry broke. It's been fighting outside the lines. The 87th are going to beat the 52nd. They're in the fast way. I mean, some of these units are just stuck outside the walls. But still, you can see the, uh, the rationale does work. And the 86th are going to fire at the 75th. 
those guys want to charge the infantry units that's stuck on the wall. Still, it does not matter. It will not save them. Or the end of Britain is nigh. <laughs> there we go. So that's how you do it. And because we won, it applies that same modifier to all other armies. And it means they've lost 14,000 men. But it doesn't matter because we've taken their last city. So they're all going to retreat because they've lost the battle. But once the city is taken, poof. Yes. Nice one, Pietro. Did you get any traits for that? Arnaldo got traits. Pietro, Corporal and Gold Braid. Good stuff. Very well. So Agostino, Canado. Arnaldo. You're waiting for cavalry, so you can hold up. Balthasare. I don't mind taking a few turns for these guys to push, because it means that we can focus more on the on the um, the America's side of the action a bit. Ernesto, I want you down here, actually. I want Ernesto to start doing the flanking fight. Fabiano, get down here as well. Nino, you can also get down here. Then let's start to just alternate where we're sending these guys to push the front line. It's a lot of firepower down here. It's approaching their, their borders. A huge amount of fire. Oh, you're waiting for cavalry. You guys need to stay where you are. Simone, can you leave Dagestan? Minus five. Becomes minus two. Becomes zero. Good. So you can... So most of the fighting is going to be down... Well, to be honest, you need more armies than you think. Cool. So you're replenishing. You guys hop back into Ottobranda. You're picking up new troops. We've got some guys down here ready to help defend New Orleans. We've got New Orleans itself producing troops. They're in good nick, so they might attack us, but they're mostly chaff units we can repel. Same there. Same there. Same there. Okay. And up here, obviously, we've got an army here at Fort Frontenac, but I would rather... I want to slowly creep up while we keep building our strength in Quebec. I mean, here, this is asking for a big fight. Right here. If they wander just a bit too close, we can get into a big defensive action here. So that's why we've got good armies up, healthy armies up front, depleted armies up uh, uh, to the rear. See, so you're picking up reinforcements from Quebec. Yeah, I'd rather them wander into our wander into our zone of control. And I need to be very careful with how we squeeze up here. Then up here in the Inuit peoples in minus 13. So I do need to build when well, five turns Cartwright is going to grow, but that's a port. We're building a coaching inn and we're upgrading the industry, the, um, the government building. So soon that'll be another army to deploy into the region. But yeah, Quebec is our main source of strength. So that's what we need to keep hold of and keep grinding down the Murgles here while we, till we push up and take Boston, which gives us another army generation centre. And keep up our blockade, because that's providing them no... Ooh, where are you getting income from, then? It's not from there. Ah. You're getting trade with Mexico. Well, we are, we are raiding it. But let's add some more ships to that. I mean, this is pretty... Actually, I've never really done this. Just do naval recruitment for the fleet and just go, yeah, add on another two third rates. There you go. We've driven that down to 13,000. War would be better, but I do also want to keep... I do want to start securing the trade zones. So yeah, you're waiting on... Okay, let's, so you can recruit probably three more ships. 
So let's get, well, three more ships plus a fourth. That's not really in the spirit of what that navy's about. So let's move you over to Brest. This sloop here can go... It's going to say just somewhere else. Well, might disband it. Let's send a militia unit down to Brest. Because here we've got Ricardo has so many under us. Oh no, did I accidentally give him the, give them a general? Give him an admiral. Well, apologies, admiral. Because the sleep Medusa can be scuppered. And then we can start to build a some trade fleets. So let's get some fourth rates and uh, three fourth rates, two fifth rates, two turns. That's a trade fleet. You see, so you want four ships. Let's get two firsts and two heavy firsts. Two turns. Good. You. So let's give this first rate ship of the line, give them an admiral. Dominico Manfredini. So you can recruit. I should always, I should remember, I'm pretty sure it's four or five thereabouts. So let's get a first, two seconds two-thirds because then they'll come from well theoretically wherever now actually i can just use you guys to bolster the fleet so yeah because if i'm becoming this dominant power i should start to dominate the trade zones so let's take two second rates two turns then you'll be done yeah it's coming from husum so let's get Some, I mean, do you have steamships somewhere around here? Oh, apparently not. Okay, so let's get three heavy firsts, four firsts, and a second. Let's start to build up another fleet because I need to want to go out and start capturing the trade zone. It's kind of irrelevant. Obviously, we're making a lot of cash per turn, and we've got loads of resources anyway. But I'd like to get some spices, 60, 60 coin per turn. I, mean, I don't want to trade with Afghanistan because we're about to take it. Let's try and trade with Mexico. Nah. Don't worry. Soon you guys will be joining the scrap heap of other countries. Obviously we've got all of our research. So let's hit end turn. Yeah, my spies are continuing their crawl towards the new front line. Obviously it's another whole bunch of stuff up there that's ready to push against the the Mughal front line in their homeland. To be honest, I am curious to see what happens in mainland USA. Yeah, so Pietro, you might have a, a, a significant engagement. Okay, the port's not within our zone of control. The longer they wait... Well, they are sending considerable forces into the action, but we do have considerable forces at our disposal in the region that will be joining them. Yep, so there's a Mughal stack moving up towards... Oh, it's going to raid our port. I see how it is. You're pushing against the Iroquois, which is understandable. Go on, Mexico. Sort out the Mughals. Sort them out. You're only one nation state, so if I go for you, you're done. So, 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 so. Right. So it's raiding at Mobile. Oh, do you not have the population? Right. No, wait, I don't know what... Yeah, this happens last... This has happened last time. It's telling me I can't recruit it. I don't know why. It's not that I've hit my limit. So I start spamming a colonial, colonial line. That's a bit of a bummer. Fleet arrives. Right. So there's three ships. Well, actually, let's check. There's more than that. Some of these have gone to the Americas. Four fleets. Okay, but, okay. I've jumped jumped the gun. I didn't... Okay, let's... I'm pretty sure most of them have gone to India, but there's one that's gone to 
America. So you, Fidelia Scapan, you're going to join the action around Louisiana, and you're going to land south of the river. Because what I'm curious about, and I might send a galloper to... S no. Hmm. Trouble is, Bland pushing up there. That's a good point to hold. But that's a very weak link, and there's a risk that they then get, they then attack you at the bridge on both from both flanks. So at least if I push up here, I can well, I can clear out one side of the river at least with the seconds, and then continue the blockade. So lots of these armies over here in India. So this first batch. One is going to land at Ceylon, and the rest are all going to land at Calcutta. I mean, that city's... Not... I mean, I demand the surrender, but understandably they won't refuse. They will refuse, so I'm going to auto-resolve that fight. So let's get the upgrade party going here. I mean, they should, they, gradually their their resistance to foreign occupation will go down. So then, let's send you up to Calcutta. I'm fairly sure you might not be able to land directly out of the city unless we bring this fleet around. They can blockade the port, prevent their ships from. Oh no! They are all actually the port itself is exposed. But they've got plenty of troops nearby. But yeah, I'm going to land these three at Calcutta and take the city. First of all, let's do a bit of investing, just so I don't forget. Especially territories like this, because they always want to see... I want to see if I can leave without building too many units. Uh, there it is. Okay, so that means my Catholic missionary here can push up to Zahedan. You keep building there. Global trading company. Let's upgrade this. You're, you are on the move. Okay. Oh, I'm fairly sure I did remember seeing this up here in Ireland. Yes, yeah, steam powered cloth factory. Good stuff. And we've got. So who's ready? You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. These units are waiting for a home. To be honest, that's not a bad. That's not the core. That's not a bad core of an army. Cesare Castro. So let's get some field artillery. Let's get some howitzers. That's six artillery units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more units. Get some sort of inf interesting infantry unit if possible. I mean, the Cairo infantry guards will come off from too far away. Might just have to get more infantry. There we go. And then this army is also ready. So let's... So it's four ships, and I've got four sixth rates. So let's get you guys out, and the galley out. Let's begin. Because my suspicion is they won't be able to repel us in one... Well, they won't be able to repel us on every front. They might initially be able to put up a decent defence. But I don't think... I think after a few engagements, they might actually start to crumble. Because they've got... Especially once we start taking away Indian territories. Because they are incredibly valuable. So it will deny the AI the ability to make war. So you've got another three armies coming into play. They can land around Cuttack to the south, to the west, uh, southwest of Calcutta. Let's 
so yeah, you're out of it, so you can't move this turn. Let's get another sixth rate on the go. So that's two armies there. Obviously, you are on mostly dragoons, so can I get rid of you guys? I can. To be honest, can I get rid of all of you? Yes, I can. Good. Get up here. Yeah, you guys need something. So, good number of troops. Give them a general. Inio Spinelli. This army's getting 24 pounders. So I have been asked why I don't really... Why I'm not so bothered about making sure I get all 24 pounders. Um, 12 pounders is still good. They're still useful. And I... I, I, I know myself I'm quite... Susceptible to picking an army configuration and running with it. So I think it's probably not a bad thing to mix up at least a bit of my... Um, unit production. Like this, actually. So I'm looking at these guys and going, that's a lot of European mercenaries. Let's add some over there and take some actual infantry out so it looks a bit more broken up. Yes, you're waiting for troops. Seb Sebastiano Spinelli. And then what's here? Here, yeah, you're, you're guarding. Pretty good force down here near Rome. We're going to disband all this militia and we're going to pick up. I mean, you've got, I mean, you've got everything except infantry, so let's just recruit 10 infantry in Rome. Then you're ready to rock and roll. See, Valletta's being garrisoned. And you guys can actually sail over. Because if this is where I'm going to start building my navy. Well, actually, if I just sail you over to here, I can do naval recruitment and get you already sailing out to join the fleet. And we have two fleets here. So I want one to guard Gibraltar, because then that gives me the ability to move all of my fighting power out of the med. So Napoleon Ant Antonelli. Antonelli. Very well. We know spices are the most valuable commodity, so he will sail to secure the east yeah, the west indies so let's get an admiral here and then let's take there we go it's gonna take a while so then let's hop over back to india so i mean i know you guys are looking at time and going "Ooh, is he gonna do it damn right i am we are gonna attack calcutta this turn and giorgio matarazzi's army is pretty good to do it some good pikes, some good infantry. So, disembark the army. Put oh, woo! <laughs> it's just the general's gone and sieged. Very well. Let's land the armies behind him. Good. He's got steam dry dock, so let's take two third rates sit in the steam dry dock. Let's take these two ships, sail down. To, eh, I can't blockade the steam dry dock, but I can break this one. We need to keep throwing them off balance. Because soon, well, they will start to generate fleets to stop us, but that's why I want to start just dumping ships in their direction. So you're going to raid... Bandara Bass. You guys are just spamming out fourth rate. Everyone else is going to move, that's fine. But the action we want to see is take Giorgino Matarazzi. We're going to hit Calcutta and we're going to do what we've done before. We're going to take, try and take the city without bringing in the reinforcements. So this is our first actual territorial capture from the Mughal Empire in their own lands. I think that's pretty, pretty good. We're starting to give them some, to give them something to worry about on the home front, and they can't really avoid us either. They can't, they can't just go. Eh, don't worry about that, because if we take India, their armies in the Americas collapse, and they have no, 
faction and I wonder if it would become the United States and the Cherokee or, or does it all turn into rebels it can be a bit potluck so let's take these chaps deploy them up front oh man we've got a lot of artillery yeah, make sure they're all unlimbered drop them down group them back up again some good artillery uh, two pikes backed up by two infantry are going to go into the breaches everyone else is going to push the right flank and my cavalry might actually be split up general in the center oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god attack ground right there fire fire you fools fire how it says boom 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 this is gonna be so good oh man wait a minute this is what they want us to do push up you man halt fire just reload my artillery reload my howitzers if we kill them all they bring in reinforcements I want my I want to go we got a way in If they charge out, we can just pike, pike the Jesus, the Jesus out of them. Make another way in. So we're going to make another breach. I mean, it's very nice they've obliged like this. Because that's like the guts of their entire garrison they've stacked up in here. <laughs> Dervishes, inventory horsemen, Sikh musketeers. I mean, they've got some musketeers outside, but when I get my... Go on, pikemen, get up there. My infantry don't do much yet. Quick line artillery, open fire. Just open fire. Well, not open fire, but look. Oh man, if I can get my pikes in there, which I am. You guys might need to take a bit of more of a aggressive position. Pikes get in there. It's all see that's all cavalry that's routing at the minute. My pikes are just melting through their front line because all of their infantry is dead. Okay, yeah, we need to get in. So you guys drop into squares because they're coming for you. These guys need to take... Don't need to take the gate. It's another quick climb unit in. You guys run around the city. Ooh, I wonder who's going to win? Pikes or cavalry? So the levy going down. Okay, we're going to 
Let's start to see our first. Okay, you guys might actually try take the gate. I've got cavalry. I've got pikemen for stuff like this. Get in here. Pokes will be enough there. You men just get in. Start the ticker. And the camel mercenaries think they're winning, but that's not going to be true for very long. Oh, no. Friendly fire. <laughs> so much friendly fire. Got so carried away. Yeah, they're mostly against. Weak general's bodyguard. Oh, no, they actually died. <laughs> they actually ran away. Whoops. Oh well, my pikes would clear them out. So you've taken that gate. Okay, we've got all the gates. So let's get you guys back in. I don't like how they're all open though. That's, that is concerning. So they're coming in from over here. But we've got the ticker going. But they've not came in. They've not come in to recapture it. So we need to kill the last remaining horsemen for them to finally decide to end their perfidious ways. Pikes charge on. So the general's bodyguards coming in. So the elephants might cause some problems, but you'd like to think the pikes won't be one of them. Get my infantry in and the square quickly, although I might actually place them like. Okay, right, so let's place them facing this way. Because that gate's stuck open because of cavalry. Oh no, not that. Make sure you right click. Okay, you guys defend the perimeter. we've got yeah we're engaging the general's unit you guys cover that breach a pikeman will eventually take out the general's bodyguard not that we're actually that bothered because we are taking it the guns there's only one guy left and he's on that horse so he's not going to be causing too much trouble my pikes are going to clear them out in no no time at all the general's been killed one Royal Indian cavalry unit. So let's make sure we kill him. So like we said, the general's been killed. Get you guys inside and they can't really do anything unless they want to run all the way around and get to the breach. Slowly working on the general's bodyguard. Yeah, if we get everyone in, the doors will shut. My guards up on the walls here. So I'm not bothered about these guys. It's unfortunate I lost my heavy cavalry in such a stupid way. But there we go. It's not going to make a significant difference to the overall victory. There we go. Timer has been lasted. Timer has been outlasted. The enemy can swarm in as much as they like from a lovely little position, actually. But it does not matter. Calcutta has fallen in not very many minutes at all. So even, yeah, even though we lost some cavalry in a silly attack, we did take the city and we severely damaged a unit out here. So let us repair. Let us replenish. Let's repair the port. Let us build a church school here. You men can march to the north, ready to start to clear out on the northern bank. You guys are in a good position to support the garrison, should they be attacked. But it looks like they don't, they'll only be attacked by one 
major force, which if they attack, we can deal with. Or I might even... You guys have done your job attacking. We can have a new garrison, so you guys can replenish in safety to the rear. Cool. So we've done everything... Oh, nuts. We've done everything else. So you're still replenishing. Everyone else is going to be recruiting and joining armies. Obviously, we're dug in over here. Forward Vito. Hope he doesn't die. He's a very... Very experienced general. Okay, then you build up the magistrate. I doubt you can leave. Minus 19. Nope. Yeah, you are going to be needed, as are many, many dragoons when I can get them. Can you guys leave York Factory? Minus one. You can. How odd. Okay, you guys might actually go over to go it's gonna take a long time, but go over there and take Yankton. Um a Rebellion in Georgia. Well Garrison Just kill him. <laughs> yeah, there we go, they like us now. So you guys replenish. You guys replenish and continue your march. You're marching on. Obviously the cavalry is... Okay, you've been picked up. Be Niccolo. See so you guys. Keep marching. The cavalry here. you got a bit longer to go. Baghdad, you've started to pick up more troops. Cool. Well, I'm going to hit end turn. And then probably do any logistic -y stuff. Check our buildings and so on. But apart from that, everyone's <laughs> everyone's advancing as, as quick as they can to their new positions. It'll take a few turns to get there, but this is the position we, we wanted to be in. We've got we we've got a lot of armies using a very limited set of roads, but that's pretty awesome, I think. So let's see how the enemy respond. I'm sure they'll come. They'll come at us at, at um at Calcutta. They're not going to let us have it. Yeah, they're starting to send armies from Nerun to try and intercept us, but that's not going to work. They might try to flank, but if they do, I'm pretty sure one army can hold off two Mughal stacks. I mean, the position around Louisiana is looking very, very vulnerable because they are just. Ooh, ah, they've got a hidden fleet, eh? Okay, they lost. Okay, so we were defeated, but we... we're we still alive, and they've lost five ships. That's a pretty good defeat. That's, that's the kind of defeat that wins wars. We were defeated. What happened? We killed five ships. Oh. But how damaged are you? Not very. Yeah, you can sneak up on the lone individual ships. Boom. Again, we've still got two ships and we've killed four of the enemy. And it's a defeat for us. But those are the kind of defeats I, I like. <laughs> as time consuming as they are. Oh no, we're going to have to retreat to our new safe port. Ah, oh, we didn't actually go in there. Although, to be honest, I wonder if this one damaged ship can sink the rest of their fleet. Probably not. Oop. <laughs> They've lost another ship. Oh no, but we... Oh, I thought we'd die, because we were trapped against land. Oh, well, never, never, never mind. It's a bit of a silly move from the AI. Yeah, there we go. So here come... Here come the expected troops near Calcutta, so we want to definitely want to kill that ship. So the new front lines forming in North America. I 
hopefully we can starve them of most of their income. What? How did you manage that? <laughs> I mean, he's. I suppose it's because he he is attacking through here. He's not moving. He's, he was always going to attack the city, so it doesn't really count. So we're going to fight a mighty defensive battle against 26,000 Mughal troops. Um, again, this is one of those battles that uh, <laughs> it's going to come down to how well can we conserve our ammunition, because this is going to take some doing. But at least it's mostly mob. It's not they haven't got like good infantry units sprinkled in that will actually take some ammo. But that's a pretty cool um, position to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for this gargantuan Moogle fight. Cheers, everyone.